Coast. All right, man, so Coast, you heard it, you saw the visual, you heard the song, man, Coast. Um, how it all came about is um, some years back, I went to uh, Oklahoma with one of my homie's friends. Um, I used to be in a secular rap group. It was right before I started doing Christian rap. My homie, um, before I switched over, he, he had moved out to Oklahoma with his mom, so later on his sister was going to go visit. You know, this is about six months after I just started doing Christian rap, so. I flew out with her because um, she was too young to fly by herself. And we had this um, layover in Cincinnati. It was so, from Cleveland to Cincinnati. The flight was about 15, maybe 20 minutes. Um, and, and that was my first time flying. I'm like, yo, I love this. This is dope. And so I was like, you know, it was so peaceful to me. And so I was like, yo, if I ever get to a point in life where I make a lot of money, um, one of the only things I'm gonna splurge my money on is when I just feel like I need to get away. I'm saying I'm gonna just like jump on a plane, you know, from Cleveland to Cincinnati, because it's a quick flight, you know, and I, I get that I get that peace, man, and and kind of just to clear my mind and think about um, what I'm going through. So at the time where I was writing this project, uh, game plan, which was me just saying like I'm gonna be who who God wanted me to be regardless um, of what the industry says I should be and what other people around me felt I should be. So I was like, I'm gonna just be me, man. I'm gonna just do me. So as a writer's project, I'm going through things. This is the first project since going solo. Um, you know, I was wrestling with a lot of insecurities of whether or not I could really write a whole song by myself. Um, Cause for years it was three of us in a group. And so, I mean, we would do solo songs from time to time, but majority of the time I was used to writing one verse and maybe the hook if, if I came up with the concept. As I'm writing this song and I'm dealing with a lot of other things, it was, you know, relationship issues um, from a girl that I thought that I was gonna be with. Um, and so dealing with that heartbreak and dealing with, like I said, issues from the group and my job and these other things, issues in the family, I was like, yo, I just need to get away. And so since I couldn't fly, I mean, the only times that I had been flying was uh, for music. Um, I didn't have any shows coming up. I just left the label. and. Um, you know, I didn't have any reason to fly, so I'm like, let me create a song that's just expressing that that idea that, that I love to fly, and it's kind of like a getaway to, to get away from all my problems um, at the same time. And it's like, realistically, the only the only time I would fly is if I'm going somewhere for music. So it's like, yo, I just want to get away. Like, I need another show. Somebody book me, please, so I can just get away from everything. Uh, and so that's that's kind of the idea of the song. So um, I went on. I went on and uh, I found I found a beat, and actually, the backtrack um, it was on sound it was on SoundClick um, with Johnny Giuliano, and when I first saw the saw the beat it was called Coast and I'm like oh this is dope, and so I actually that's how I kept the title and so I actually thought about this concept using that concept for that beat just because the beat was dope and I wanted to keep the title of the beat because um, I love the feel of it and it reminded me I'm like yo so I kind of drew it from that situation um, and it, it just came out organic and real because I had a lot going on at the time so what happened was I actually I ended up writing I bought the beat um, at least it, I ended up writing to the whole song and um, because I don't write as often as I should there was a lot a lot of time passed in between me writing a song and then getting ready to record the song after writing all the songs that I needed to put on game plan. So I, I went back and there was a, a lot of it going on in that time again, so I rewrote it. So the version you're actually hearing of Coast can technically be considered a remix. Um, because the second and third verse is new, the hook is the same. The only thing that's original from the original song that I wrote with Coast is verse one. Um, the second and third verse is all new. Um, and then uh, me adding that's the reason in on the hook to, to go back and forth with me is new as well. So then the time comes, you know, later um, to do a video. I need to do a couple videos. And so Coast is one of my favorite songs off a of game plan. Um, not only because just the lyricism and, and how I how I, how I got more vulnerable on that track, um, but just um, for what I envision for the song, Coast is one of the songs on, on Game Plan that came most 
to what I originally heard in my head. After we did Pat Boy music, I knew that Coast was gonna be the next one I was gonna do. Um, and uh, and so I coast, how that came about was I needed to uh, do a video for a contest. And so I did Pat Boy music first. Did Coast second, because I wanted to have more time to kind of discuss it and for Lex to hear the song and um, come up with a concept. And it was actually really dope, man, because um, Cause he's just real artistic and creative with what he's doing and, and i really trusted his vision for coast because my original thing was of course the cheesy way which actually i look back and i think it is cheesy and other people would be like yo you know you got to be on a plane and you should be somewhere where like you would like it's like a background with clouds and like planes just flying over the place you know it's like i mean it sound good because i'm talking about planes but the actual story and concept of what he brought to the table, I thought was actually way better and uh, was dope. And so, you know, he told me the vision, I was with it. And we started setting dates up to um, to record, but it was like raining like so crazy. And so we actually kept having to cancel everything because uh, it was just rain after rain after rain. Um, and uh, majority of the shoot was outside, so we couldn't really obviously did a shoot and people weren't showing up because of the rain and so finally when we actually shot the video it rained that day but we was just like look we're not about to cancel this video again man so um we just went ahead and did it and we went ahead and just used what we have and i'm i'm actually extremely proud of this video man so that's coast <laughs> Why am I still in this position? Is it even alive or should I just abort the mission? I'm dying inside, slowly killing off my ambition. The only reason I rap, you told me to do it, Chris. Uh, I ended up calling up Lex, man, and um, we got on the phone, and he was like, yo, I heard, I like the song, it was dope, and I'm gonna share with you my vision, man. So, you know, he, he gonna had, share with you what? He had uh, sent me the, the, uh, the song, and I heard it on my phone first. And I really couldn't hear, but I had to make an errand run anyway, so. I went on ahead, took the phone up to the car, and I'm like, oh, like, this is really dope. Like, I can see it all. So I drove around with that boy for about two weeks, um, like just driving around the city, like, okay, I can, I can picture this, I can picture that. And um, when it came time to shoot, the video was pretty much already shot in my head, so I already, I already knew how it was going to go down. And I was, uh, I was way more comfortable working with him because we had did Pat Boy music and I had gave him a kind of a crazy idea with skateboarders and stuff. And he was like, yeah. So I'm like, oh wow, you like that? Like, that was my idea, but you know, most rappers, they like to be in the box. So, um, I, you know, I knew he was out, you know, out the box, you know, anyway. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna really work. So when I pitched him the idea for Coast, I already knew it was gonna go down. So I'm like, okay, cool. So um, it came time to shoot. And uh, matter of fact, I'm getting ahead of myself because when I first heard Coast, I was like, how do we take this song dealing with airplanes and not put an airplane in it? Because I was like, there's no way we can go ahead and pull this off without looking cheesy. I don't want no green screen. Like I think you said before with the clouds and stuff. I'm like, I saw another video online in this area that had something to do with planes and stuff and it looked kind of cheesy. I was like, how can we get creative and push the envelope and uh, <clears throat> And give you that feeling that he's talking about, because in the, in the video and the song, it, he sounded real. Um, it was an intimate talk with God, and I'm and, it, and partly with himself, you know, of just going over and rationalizing everything in his life. So I was like, it seems really intimate. So I wanted to get that that feel, and to get feeling with video is a hurdle because. Um, we're dealing, we know we're running gun shoots, so every place that you shoot at, you may not be welcome there. And we didn't get no permits. Um, so, um, you know, it came about on the time that we had to shoot that it was raining, and it rained and rained and rained. So every weekend we, we picked to shoot, it rained us out. So uh, we worked around it. Um, initially, that black backdrop scene wasn't going to be there, it was going to be something totally different. And then I had saw something online about two weeks before, prior to shooting on our second scheduled day of shooting because the first day got rained out. And I'm like, man, that's really dope. And I think I can pull that off. I think I got enough gear. So 
I hooked up the light boxes and everything, and I, I played around with it. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna, this is gonna work. So um, we, we uh, shot the video at, at his house, and it's showing him like getting off work, it's showing him transitioning. So that's why the first verse doesn't have a lot of effects. It has effects on it, but it, it's very toned down in the sense of it's not like glaring and popping out at you with different lights and stuff like that. It's just more of a uh, coloring. And, um, that came out beautiful, and then it transitioned from the second verse to in the third verse of him being a rapper. Because I saw one post on Facebook about three months before this video, and he said, "Yeah, I rap too." And it was like maybe a 15-second snippet of him rapping, and I was like, "Oh, like he bumps into that a lot." I see. So I wanted to show that and say, "Hey, he's a regular guy, but you know, he also does this. You know, um, you know, Batman is also Bruce Wayne." So. You know, it's in that, in, in that comparative of, you know, he's more than just Paperboy, he's Skyler also. So I wanted to show that. So it's a transition. That's why you see the lights and everything from, this, um, from the first verse going to the second, or the first course going to the second verse. And uh, hopefully everybody can kind of see that. But um, the idea was to definitely push the envelope creatively and not just to green screen it out. That's going to be really tacky if you don't pull that off right. And I've seen it way too many times to pull off wrong. <laughs> so I wanted to push the envelope and be creative and bring that out. So that was my idea behind it. So I hope you guys enjoy and uh, please support him because he's a very good artist and that I just love everything about about that song and the fact that he was able to bring that that feeling out because it's, it's very hard to bring a feeling out of your head and out of your heart onto a track and it's hard to bring that feeling onto a track onto video so the fact that it, it worked and it correlated each step of the way that's a blessing right there it is so coast <laughs>